Welcome guys to another video and in this video I'll be showing you how to speed up your workflow by creating your desired actions. If you watch the video till the end, kindly comment actions so I can drop more videos like this. First, what are actions in Photoshop? Actions are recorded sequence of step in Adobe Photoshop that automate repetitive tasks such as adjustments or effects on images or batches of images. Now let's create actions. First off, I usually create action where I easily clean my backgrounds to make them look neater. So I'm going to create an action that will speed up my background cleaning process. So first of all, I'll go to my actions and then I'll go to this folder here and just click it. It's going to create a set. So now a set is just like a, a, a group of actions you want to create. So I'll just name this as my uh, edit. Uh, okay. So under this uh, folder, I'm going to create a new action. This action I'm going to rename this as background edits. So I'm going to click record. And once I click record, I'm just going to go through the process step by step so I don't make mistakes. So I'll just click record. So first thing I do when I want to edit my backgrounds, I duplicate. Now I'll go to select subject. Now I right click and select inverse. I'm going to click command X, which is cut and command V to paste. Now I'm going to put my background behind the layer subject and then I'll go to filter, go to blur and Gaussian blur. And now I'm going to leave my radius at hundred and just click. Okay. So right here, I can stop the action here like so. So now we have our, our action created successfully. So now I'm going to delete this layer and just click on the action to see if it really works. And I, I'm going to click on this background edit and just click on play here. And let's see how it's going to turn out. Just like that, you can see that the action works perfectly well. So now I'm just going to, you know, clean up the background further. So I'm going to speed up this process, cleaning background and make it even. I'm going to use my brush to do that, to just clean the background and try to make it look even and uniform like so now we'll go to the leg area and we're going to use the eraser tool to just clean the shadows just a little bit so i'll need you to turn on your notification while i drop more videos and this should be one of them of how i edit my backgrounds and how i clean them up to look very neat before exporting them we have finally clean our background and it looks quite neat. So the next action I'm going to be creating will be a camera roll adjustment. So what I will do, I'm going to create another action here. I'm going to name it effect. So now it's recording. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to filter and go to camera roll. So now just for you to know, you can also create actions with camera roll and for instance you're editing more than one picture that has you know a kind of temperature or a kind of feel you want to create on the several images you can actually do some camera roll adjustment here maybe i just want to adjust the color i just take the temperature down because it seems too yellowish i might just take the temperature down a little bit anytime i run the action i want it to affect all the images i took on this session so i'm just going to go down and maybe just play around the effect depends on what you want to do maybe create a vintage but i don't think i'll be doing that so i'll just go down to you can also add some texture clarity if you want to you know i feel like this image has enough texture and sharpness so uh, maybe i might just go down to okay there are other options here where i can use this linear gradient to create a kind of artificial light so I'm just going to click it and just do something like this. Uh, this is an overlay. I'm going to untick this. But when you scroll down, you can actually add color or lightness to that side where I chose this. So now I'm going to choose, let's say, yellow color. This is like an artificial lightning. I want this to ha um, take effect every time I play the action on any image I'm editing on this session. So I'm going to leave it like this. Maybe just increase my saturation a little bit. Um, you know, maybe adjust the temperature of just this gradient, this linear gradient I created. And that's pretty much what I want to do for this image. And I'll just click OK. 
and right here we can see the effect right here now i'm going to stop this recording of this action like so so now i'm going to delete this layer and let's see if it's going to give me what i want so i'm going to duplicate and then i'll just click play and let's see you can see it took effect now you, like, just like i said if you have other images like this where you took on the same session like this you can also run that same camera effects on it and it's going to give you the same settings just like this so now we just created two actions right here and in case you want to toggle with the bottom mode you can see the bottom mode right here in case you want to add some colors you can also do that right here you know to tag them so now i'm just going to speed up the retouching process for this now you can check out my retouching workflow actions i'm going to leave the link on the description so you can purchase yours at our shop so after retouching our image the next action we're going to create will be how to add your logo say you want to add your logo to different uh images after retouching so you can actually do that by creating action by just one click and your logo is just gonna appear there so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create another action and record so now we'll go to our image we're going to go to where our logo is and we'll just drag and drop so now you want to put your logo where you want it to be for those set of photos you can keep it here and in case you want to change the blending mode for your you know logo you can do that here or reduce opacity you can do everything here and just click stop and now we're going to test this logo if it actually works so we're going to drag this and delete it and we're just going to click play on logo and right here you see our logo here you can now go to another of our image and just you know click on the logo right here action and just play it and there you see a logo right here just with one click so now the next action we're going to create will be to save our image so now we're going to create another action we're going to name it as save let's click so so now we're going to go to files and go to export and now we'll go to save for web so right here you can have all your pictures save at a certain quality if you want your quality to be 95% or 100%, you can save them here and the image size. So you can just save and save to your device. Um, anyway, you want to save it and just click save. And then you just click stop. And we can see our image right here in our download folder. So we're, go we're going to delete this and we're going to try again. Let's try to click this. And now let's go back to the download folder and you see our image right here well save saving image to web optimizes images and reduce file size making web pages load quickly and also ensures images look good across different devices and screen resolution so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video